Hello Apex friends, what's up? Uh, Apex 22 has been released a week ago and for me that means it's time to look under the covers what's new, what's changed in terms of views and APIs. You probably heard about all the, the big new features already. If not, check out this blog. It lists every, every new component and, and everything you, you need to know. So we have the cards region, we have improvements on faceted search, um, built in PDF and XLSX and whatnot. As many different formats are possible to, to export uh, and all based on a region or on just any, any query source. So that's amazing. There's improvements on REST data source synchronizations. You can sync a copy to a local table. That's big stuff actually. And of course, uh, a new theme style for the universal theme, the Redwood Light theme. So other than that, um, Apex has been prepared for MLE. That's the multilingual engine that will come most likely with the database version 21, uh, which means you can then decide whether you want to run PL SQL code or JavaScript code in your Apex processes and functions and basically wherever you can put code. So this is why you now see uh, a new language selector in your properties. And this is also enhanced in, in all the views, of course, so that you know this piece of code is now JavaScript or PL SQL. And that also means um, function, PL SQL function returning statement has been renamed to just function returning statement. Web source modules have been renamed to REST data sources. It makes way more, way more sense. Yeah. There is a new plugin type for REST data sources. So you, this plugin can translate between Apex and your REST endpoint so that you can leverage all, all the features. So uh, I'm, I'm not going to talk about every little detail in every view and every API. If you want to read into that, here is my blog URL. You can read up on, on all the changes in the usual diff format I provide there. In the views department, we got a bunch of new views for all the new features like automations, cards, facet groups, workspace print servers, the rest synchronization stuff. Uh, but there's also something new called web entry points. Improvements have been made in, in the Apex plugins view, of course, also for the web source modules or REST data sources, of course. Um, but some views like the web source modules view is still called web stores modules view. Anyway, um, workspace credentials have been enhanced and the web service log. So in terms of the APIs, we got, of course, uh, API for Apex automation. So you cannot only enable and disable automation, but also within your automation code, you can write information to the log and you can, uh, you can define the next run and, and things like that. Most important API probably, Apex data export. If there is only one thing you take away, it's this. Apex data export dot export. You provide a query context and which format you wanna have and it returns uh, XLSX or CSV or HTML or XML or PDF, uh, JSON, JSONP, whatever. There is a bunch of formats and this is really big. It's, it's working great so far. Apex Instance Admin has a bunch of new parameters. Uh, although I didn't find them yet in the updated documentation, we'll see you know, what comes into doc, what not. Uh, if you wanna be careful, just use what's officially documented. There is enhancements to Apex Langs you can define when you create a message if this is gonna be used in JavaScript. I was waiting for this one, that's great. Apex Mail has an attach ad attachment for CLOPs, that's great. Um, Apex Web Services can now deal with multi-part messages and you can enhance the multi-part and, and then build up your, your request before you set it off and set the request headers and whatnot. So many little things, uh, but it's nothing in comparison to what you see on the, 
on the front end, right? There is so many new things like the cards region, there's enhanced tree, there is a better file browse item, tons and tons of things. So make sure to check it out. Um, I'll, I'll put a, uh, some links in, in, in the show notes. So there's a link to the sample cards application and so on. All right, check it out. Bye.